Hello guys, this is Kiros Kovi Rashik. I am a motion graphic designer from Bangladesh, a small country of South Asia. That's why you have this weird accent. And this is my YouTube channel, uh, where I put uh, many tutorials about motion graphic on After Effects. So, today we are going to learn this. Before we begin our tutorial, please be sure to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon then send me all notification for this channel and press the save button that's how you can get all the notification for our uploads at first import all of your necessary files then create a new composition import your logo and adjust the size Pre-compose it and name it logo. Now duplicate it several times and rename the top layer outline. Unview the other layer. Search for Vegas effect and apply it to the top layer. Now follow my instructions. Now create an animation for length, reveal the keyframe by pressing U which should look like this. Now create a shape layer and apply there a gradient color which should look like this. You can easily modify this as like as Photoshop. Now apply a effect, type tile and apply this CC reptile effect on this shape layer and follow my instruction. Now go to rectangle 1, then gradient fill 1 and click the start point. You will have this type of gizmo, adjust this like I am doing here. You should do it like this. Now apply another effect called transform and skew it a little bit. Now drag the shape layer under the outline. Now toggle the switch and mode. Now make it alpha matte which should look like this. Now create a solid by pressing Ctrl Y. Drag it below and apply their gradient ramp effect. Now swap colors and make it radial and make it look like this. Now select these top two layers and pre-compose them, rename them stroke. Now switch the blend modes and make stroke layer 3D. Now create a null object and rename it control, controller sorry. And apply their slider control, actually two times and rename them distance and opacity. Now go to the stroke layer 
and parent the opacity with the controller layer opacity slider. Now all click to the position stopwatch and write down a simple code as you are watching on the screen. The code will be also shown in the description below. After index, parent it to the distance slider control. Now copy the stroke layer several times, about 5 or 6 times. Now create a camera layer. Now if we select the camera tools and rotate it like this, we will see nothing has changed. But if we go to the controller layer and bring the opacity 100% and create some distance, we should see something like this. This is because of those codes. Okay. Now we should create a scene like this. And ke create keyframes for our camera positions and point of interest. Now select all those keyframes and go to keyframe assistant time reverse keyframe. So it would look like this. Now find out the time where it settled down. Add more keyframes. Select the last two keyframes and bring them to the last of the comp and select down the middle two keyframes. Bring them to one second. Once again, select those last two keyframes and bring them at the last of the composition. Now select all those keyframes. Go to keyframe assistant, make them easy ease. Or you can press also the shortcut F9. So you should have something like this. Now go to the controller layer and make distance and opacity keyframes in one second and go to zero frame and adjust them like me. Now select all those keyframes, go to keyframe assistant, make them easy ease and time reverse them. Now you should have something like this. down all flare sequence layers to your timeline and adjust the duration like me now select all of them toggle switch modes and make them screen blend mode you can also adjust their opacity according to your taste now view another main logo layer and rename it tint apply here tint effect now toggle switch modes again and make it 3d layer now make a new black solid layer and also make it a 3d layer pre-compose it and name it reveal now go to the pre-composition actually new composition and click the black solid now make a mask at the middle. If I switch this button, you will see what I am doing here. So adjust the feather and now animate the mask expansion like me. Now duplicate it and change the color by pressing Ctrl Shift Y.
and for a little moment uh, unview the black solids now reveal the mask layers by pressing M now duplicate your mask one and make the mask to subtract now press ctrl T and reduce its size a little bit to the center by pressing ctrl now you should have something like this now duplicate the layer and again change its color to another darkish color reveal its mask by pressing M select all those masks and press ctrl T now move those masks on another side of the composition again duplicate the layer and change its color reveal the mask by pressing M select all those masks and press ctrl T and move them another corner of the composition now create a new adjustment layer and apply there the tint effect now adjust those uh, layers duration like me and once again make visible the black solid drag it under the adjustment layer now after creating all those uh, layers like me you should have something like this now go back to your main composition and toggle switch mode and make the tint layer alpha matte so it should look like this now adjust the starting point of tint and reveal layers according to your case uh, on my case I'm going to start them after one second Now apply Irish wipe effect to your tint layer. And adjust the starting point of your logo layer. Now you have to make an animation like this. You have to adjust the Irish point 32 and outer radius animation for your tint logo layer. Rename the logo layer to main logo layer and Obviously, you have to uh, make it 3D. Now you have to make uh, animation for outer radius like this. Now drag down the keyframes and this should look like this but you have to adjust the feather amount a little bit that's how you will get this look so now go to the 8 second and press N now trim the form to work area Now if you want to change the logo, at first import your own logo like this. Now double click to your main logo layer. Now bring down your logo that you want to change. And just unview the previous logo. It will update automatically. And the project link of this tutorial will be given in the description so you can download it and use it for your case thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any problem regarding this tutorial don't hesitate to comment below if you learn something new from this tutorial please give it a like if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe because more awesome tutorial is yet to come